record for the meeting. I understood that. Thank you. Okay. Great. Very good. So any further discussion and deliberation by the board members on the what's before us this evening? Hearing none, would you have Sunny Robinson who's raised her hand to participate? Again, Sunny, just name and address for the record, please. Uh, Sunny Robinson, 20 Harvard Street. Uh, I have a comment and then a question, if I may. Uh, first, my comment is, I just would like it to be on the record that myself and some other people who have been following all these proposals coming out of the housing production plan and going to the planning board have found the planning board and the information about all these proposals to be readily available and the opportunity to participate in them has actually been terrific. So I thank you for all of that. And I'm sorry there are others in the community who think that is not accurate. Uh, now, my question relates to something that Hank was saying, and I have to confess that I uh, missed the last discussion two weeks ago and have not yet had a chance to look at the, the recording from that. So I, uh, could someone say a little bit more about why there is some perception of a conflict between the attempts to increase housing that is affordable and moving to two families, because I actually don't understand what that conflict might be. A second unit could well be constructed as an affordable unit. So thank you if someone can, can speak to what that concern, how that concern was perceived. <clears throat> appreciate your hey, comment, I, and Greg. I'll do you want me to respond now or do you, I, I could, Quickly, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if it'll be a, a full response. I think, um, you know, so, I, again, I think that's that's part of. Um, there has to be a recognition, or, or maybe some misunderstanding that the housing production plan was not just about affordability. It was about housing needs across the community, um, and that's uh, at all income levels. Affordability was definitely focused upon to understand what that need is. Um, and there's already, as, as Sunny, you, you already know the proposals that have been made. I think there was some characterization that, um, you know, increasing the allowance or, or relaxing um, the, the permitting path for two family um, will result in more of a market driven approach, um, units that will probably not be affordable by definition. Um, and frankly, that, that, is, that is the truth. And I don't think anyone's necessarily trying to say, um, that this allowance of two family is going to create affordable housing. Um, mm -hmm. As someone develops an individual lot, there is no requirement by the city to do so. Um, if somebody elected to do so, they certainly can create a local initiative unit. Um, but I think that's, that's some of what was um, represented um, in testimony, um, that, it's, that it's not going to help the issue. Um, again, I think some of these proposals are in response um, to what we've heard in terms of, of in, in some instances, not all, um, where folks want to create a, a second unit on their property, not necessarily in an ADU uh, kind of format, that eventually, um, you know, there's value in that unit. And that's, that's something that can be either rented or conveyed. Um, so complicated, I think it was a complicated um, question, or maybe it was um, very narrowly um, presented and again, these are the, there's a multi-pronged strategy to try to address the, the community needs, and they're not all just around as 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 my as, as Sean always talks about big A affordable um, and little A affordable. Um, that that some of that in some way is addressed by um, allowing um, for some additional supply. Uh, am I can I just respond to that for a moment? Quickly, if you don't mind. Yeah, no, not a problem. Um, I mean, that's very helpful. So thank you very much, Greg. And I do think the focus of the housing production plan has been increased housing across the entire income spectrum of Gloucester. So what your response is very helpful. The one uh, question or challenge or thought that I would put to the planning board is whether or not you as a planning board have given any thought to creating a mechanism that would incentivize 
second uh, units to in fact be affordable. And that would be my comment. Thank you, Sonny. Um, I, I think that we that that deed restriction concept was not discussed as best that I can recall. Um, there was an attempt a year or two or three ago uh, to create sort of an amnesty program uh, to bring those types of uh, pre-existing apartments that weren't considered uh, compliant or legal, um, but that wasn't, and that died a, um, a, a slow and painful, um, just frankly, because the, the banks would not accept a deed restriction on a parcel that they had a mortgage. Um, and that sort of, that fell apart. Um, but it, that was not a part of the contemporary discussion on, on two families or ADUs to deed restrict those units as affordable. Um, that's the short answer. Thank you. All right, Sonny, thanks again for your comments. Um, anybody else in the attendees list that haven't spoken yet to an issue that hasn't been covered um, before we move on to further deliberation? Seeing none. Um, next steps at this point, Greg. Well, I think I think you did. You ask for in favor or or just or just comment. I didn't just I didn't comment. know if there were. Okay. I mean, 